All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all how to make these bracelets, right here. These bracelets are my own original designs, and they are also a part of a series that I have, which is called the Triple Single Pet Series, and basically what I do is I just make a triple single bracelet, and make it into some kind of animal or creature, such as these here, which are the Triple Single Pet Ghosts. So, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make them on the Monster Tail. I already have a tutorial for them on a regular loom, so a link to that tutorial will be in the description. But, here I'm showing you how to make it on the Monster Tail. Also, since we are make I'm showing you how to make it on the Monster Tail, I'll be showing you how to continue making the bracelet as a triple single instead of making this single chain extension here. Alright, and here's just another example I made. Just to kind of show you what I'm going to be showing you how to make. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. So, well, you're going to need your monster tail, of course, to make this. You're going to need a hook, and I'll be using this metal tipped hook, but pretty much any hook will work for this design. Then, of course, you will need a clip. And any clip you use for making rubber band bracelets should work. I'll be using the C clip. And then, of course, you need rubber bands. So for the bands, there are four groups. I'll explain what each group is. So the A group, or the A bands, they're going to be these, well, the ghost bands, I'll be calling them. And they're the bands that are actually part of the ghost. And they're the purple bands here in this example. The B rubber bands are going to be the background bands, which are pretty much all the other bands in the bracelet that are not a part of the ghost. So all of these clear bands here. Actually, I'll go ahead and just use this one as an example, because it uses the same exact color scheme, so... Well, so the pink bands are the A bands, and these black bands here, that are not a part of the ghost, are the background bands, or the B bands. Then these C rubber bands are the face rubber bands, so they're the other black bands here on the bracelet that are actually a part of the ghost, so the mouth and the eyes. And then this last group here, they are the connector bands, and they connect all three of the little single chains that make your triple single together. So you can kind of see them in this example. Alright, so in the description I'll have the number of each group of band you'll need to complete pretty much the ghost and the minimum number of background bands you would need. Or basically what I instruct you to add to your bracelet and then you'll need some additional B and connector bands, so background and connector bands, so you can make the bracelet fit all the way around your wrist. So anyway, just go ahead, use the pause button, get the supplies you'll need, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. Alright. Alright, there's a little bit too much outside noise, so I go close the door. Anyway, to get started, you're going to have the red dot on your monster tail here on the left, and we're going to start by getting a B color rubber band, and also having our hook nearby, because we're going to be using it right after we place this band on our loom. So what we're going to do with this B color band is we're going to make it into a cap band where the bracelet starts. So to do this, you're just going to take the band, and you can do this on any of these pins, we're going to be using these six pins here that make a rectangle on your monster tail, so not these two here on the outside. We're going to take the band, put it on one of these pins, bring it up to the pin directly across from it, and when you do this, you're going to twist the band, and you get a little eight shape or hourglass or infinity shape, or even a bow tie, but you get this shape here, and now you're going to get your hook, and we're going to stretch this band out so that it's stretching across all three of these top pins and also all three of these bottom pins. So as you can see there's these two triangles and there's one triangle on top and one on the bottom. The top triangle will be stretched across the top pins and then that bottom triangle will stretch across the bottom pins. Then you get this really big hourglass shape here and now we can get started. Alright, now we're going to get 
three B color bands to start. And we're just going to place them kind of like what we did with our cat band here, except we're not going to twist them and we're not going to stretch them out. So we just take a B color band, stretch it across one pin to the pin directly across from it. Then same here for the other two sets of pins. So you've placed all three of your B color bands like so. Now you're going to get your hook and we're going to loom this bottom band, which is the cat band. So you just use your hook, grab the bottom band, pull it up and over those pins, and make sure you get the other side as well. And then you'll just want to make sure the red dot's on the left again. <coughs> and this. And then we're going to do this exact same thing again. We're going to get three B color bands. And we're going to place them going across our loom from this bottom pin up to the pin directly across from it, so this top pin here. And then you would do this for the other two sets of pins. And then you're going to get your hook, and we're going to loom all of the bottom bands on all six of these pins here. So you would go here, grab the bottom band, pull it up and over. Here in the middle, grab the bottom band, pull it up and over. Here, grab the bottom band, pull it up and over. And then you would turn your monster tail around, do the same thing here on the other side. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding connector bands. So go ahead and get a connector band, and still get your three backer bands here. And what we're going to do is we're first going to place this connector band. And to do that, you're going to stretch it going across either these top three pins or these bottom three pins. And I like to stretch it across the bottom here because it's right in front of you, or well, they're right in front of you when you go to loom. But wherever you place your connector band, once you've placed it, you're going to place your three B color bands the same way you've been placing all of the other B color bands. Stretching them across the pins like so. Then you'll get your hook, and we'll loom again. And looming is just slightly different this time because we have this connector band. But all you gotta do is grab the connector band with your hook, pull it up and over the pins, just like you did with the cat band when we had added it the first time. And then you loom all the bottom bands on all six pins. Then you make sure the red dot's on the left. And also just a little tip, if you're not sure if you loomed your bottom band on all the pins here, just make sure there's only one rubber band on each pin before you place anything else on your loom. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the ghost bands, which are the A color bands. And as you can see here in this first row of the A color bands, or the ghost bands I'll be calling them, we also have these little feet here, which is what I call these parts here at the bottom. Not sure exactly what to call it other than the bottom. So we're just going to call them the feet. And we're not going to be making the feet quite yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our connector band. We're always going to place a connector band whenever we're going to place another row of bands. And then we're going to get three A color bands, or three ghost bands, that are for this first row of the ghost. And we're going to place everything just like we did the first time. Or, well, when we first added our connector band. So you would place your connector band first, either on the three bottom or the three top pins. And then you would place all of your ghost bands, so these three ghost bands, just like you did the B color bands, or the background bands. <clears throat> just like that and once you've done that you're going to get your hook loom everything just like normal so first the connector band up and over the pins and then the bottom band up and over on both sides
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start making a feet here that go on the bottom. And to do this, you're going to need nine ghost bands, three for each foot. And we're gonna be making these here on our hook. Now don't worry if you're not really that good at making hook only designs because it's really, really easy what you gotta do. So, I'll go ahead and show you. So with your hook, you're going to take one ghost band and we're going to make it a cap band on your hook. So to do this, you're going to put the band on your hook like so. And while that band is on your hook, you're going to twist it and that new shape you create, you'll put it on your hook as well. And now what you've done is you've created a cap band. Simple enough. Then you're going to get two ghost bands. So the other two ghost bands you need for the foot and you're going to put it on the actual hook part of your hook so in right here hold the bands like so you can use your other hand if you need to but once however you do it you need to get this cap band here that's already on your hook off of your hook and onto so we just pull it off like this onto these two ghost bands that we are adding oops there we go. And then once you have that, you'll put the other end of the ghost bands like on your hook like so. And once you've done this, you're going to get your monster tail back again. And you're going to put these four little loops or these bands here on your hook onto one of these three bottom pins. So I'm just going to put my first foot here on the left. And how I like to do this is I like to take maybe one or two of the loops off first at one time and then put them on the pin. And another way to do it is to keep all the bands on the pin, kind of stretch them and get them on the pin, kind of working them on there. And then pulling your hook out and then you have your bands. Now what you're going to do is the same thing two more times and you'll put the other two feet on the other two pins that you didn't put your first foot on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and if you're still not sure what you're supposed to do just go ahead and just watch me here for the second time and then just go ahead and make your other two feet. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so here we go. I have all three of my feet. It was the pause button if you still need more time. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place the next bands we need for the next row of the bracelet, which are right here. So, you'll get your connector band, and then three more ghost bands. <coughs> so, since these bottom pins here are kind of crowded, we're going to put our connector band going across these three top pins. And if you've been putting your connector band here on the three bottom pins the whole time, it doesn't really matter actually where you put your connector band, as long as it's either on the top three or the bottom three. So, it'll be all, it'll be all right. So, you can put your connector band here on the top three pins. 
and then I'm going to push these ghost bands down a little bit and then you'll take the other three ghost bands that you're adding for the new row and you'll place them here on your loom just like you have been just straight across like just like that and now we're going to loom now looming will be a little bit different we're going to go ahead and get our connector band first just go ahead up the top and loom it up and over and then to loom the bottom bands here you might want to turn the feet a little bit so that the cap band is kind of sticking out to the side and this makes it a lot easier for when you need to go in and loom those bottom bands and here's what you have to do so you need to ignore this top band and you need to kind of go into the pin and pull back only these four ghost or these four loops here that are the foot so as you can see the very top band is not on my hook and the very bottom band is not on my hook just these four here in the middle and once you've done that you'll grab that bottom band and pull it up and over the pin just be a little bit careful that you don't pull any bands off the pin when you loom this ghost band and then you'll want to turn the foot so that it the cap band is sticking out towards you again. There we go. And then you'll move on to the next day color band that you need to loom. So let me twist the foot a little bit. Pull back those four bands. Grab that bottom band and loop it up and over. And bring the ghost foot cap band in front of you again. Alright, and then you just gotta do this one more time. Alright, and then you just need to loom all the bottom bands here on the other side of your monster tail. So don't forget to get these. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and take these feet here the ghost feet here we're going to go ahead and take them off of our loom so that we'll have room for more bands and so we can continue adding more rows to our ghost here so in order to do this this top band which is actually not a part of the ghost or a part of the feet you'll need to use your hook to take that band off of that pin and then just bring it up across to the pin directly across from it from where it was so here I had this band was on the bottom left so I'm going to bring it up to the top left or you could really bring it to any other pin but I just bring it up to the pin on the other side and then once you've done that you can just use your hook to pull the foot bands off of your loom there and then you can use your hook to bring this band from wherever you brought it back to where it was be very careful when you do this because you don't want to drop the band and lose one row of your bracelet and then you'll just do this for the other two and then once you have all three of your feet off of there now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add two more hmm. let me just check real quick nope we're actually just going to add one more row of ghost bands so you'll get your connector band and then your three ghost bands those bands up there in the corner anyway and then you're just gonna add them just like you would any normal row first your connector band and then your three ghost bands and then once you've done that you're going to go ahead and loom all these bands here 
just like normal, get the connector band, then all the bottom bands on each of these six pins here. And there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the facial features such as the mouth and the eyes. So first we're going to do the mouth. We're going to go ahead and get the usual bands, so the connector band and the three ghost bands. And this time we're going to get a C color rubber band as well. Alright, so before we place anything else, we're going to place the C color band. And we're going to make it into a triple cap band so that it can be small enough to be the mouth. So, you're going to make it here on either the one of the left two pins or the two right pins. So, you can either make it here on this bottom left pin, this top left pin, this bottom right pin, or this top right pin. So, one of these four pins here. You can't do the middle, and you'll see why once we've made it. So, just pick whichever pin, whichever is easiest for whichever hand you use to place bands. And you're just going to put the band on that pin. And it's going to be kind of like making a cap band on your hook, except it's on your loom. So, you have the band on the pin. You twist it, and then new shape you create. You're going to put it on that pin as well. Same pin. Then... What we have here is just a regular cap band, and to make it a triple cap band is we're going to grab one of these two little layers here, just one of them, and then we're going to twist the band, and that new shape you create, you're going to put it on the pin as well. And if it's a little too difficult to make the band, or make the triple cap band on your loom, you can actually follow the same steps on your hook and then transfer that triple cap band onto whichever of those four pins you want. And then you still have your triple cap band. Alright, so anyway, once you've made the mouth, what we're going to do is we're going to get our connector band, and we're going to place it going across the three pins wherever your mouth band is. So if you have your mouth band here on the bottom pin, one of the bottom pins, then you'll put your connector band going across the three bottom pins. And then vice versa for anyone who put the mouth here on the top. You put the connector band on the top. And then, once you've placed the connector band, we're actually going to get our hook before we place anything else. And bring this connector band, or not this connector band, but this cap band up and over the pins. And onto the connector band above it. And there you go. Now you have your mouth. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place our three ghost bands. Just like normal. And then we're going to loom just like normal. The only difference is we just have that little triple cap band there. On the connector band. Alright, now we have added the mouth, so now this next row here, we're going to start adding the eyes. So, just like before, you'll get your usual bands, the connector band, the three ghost band, and this time you're going to get your last two C color bands, which are going to be for your eyes of the ghost. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did before, except these two C color bands are going to be regular cap bands instead of a triple cap band. So basically all you have to do is you need to choose one of those same four pins again. And I'm just going to go ahead and make both of my eyes here on the bottom. So you want to make sure that both eyes are on the same side of your loom. So they either both need to be on the bottom, or they both need to be on top. I'm putting mine on the bottom. You're going to make a cap band here on whichever pin you've chosen. So you put the band on the pin, twist it while it's on the pin, and that new shape you create, you're going to put it on that same pin. And now you got a regular cap band. And then you'll do the same thing for the pin here on the other side. 
but it's still on the same side as the first cat band you made, so what I mean by that is if you made your first eye here on the bottom, your second eye will be on the bottom, so the same side, and your second eye will also have to be on the other side of where you made your first eye, so I made my first eye here on the left, so that means I need to make the second eye over here on the right. So you'll make another cap band on this other pin. And you should have something like this, or something like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to place our connector band over top of the pins that have our eye bands on them. We'll use our hook to loom the eye bands up and over onto the connector band above them. And make sure they stay on their sides. So left eye stays here over here on the left, and right eye stays over here on the right. And then once that is true, you'll go ahead and place your ghost bands just like normal. And then looming will be just the same. And then, once you've got that done, now we're going to add another row. So you get a connector band and three ghost bands. But as you can see here on this ghost, the eye seems to be a little bit bigger and they seem to be a little bit stretched out. Not sure if you noticed. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you do this. So this is actually part of making the design, so you, you kind of have to do it to make it look like this. So what you need to do is you need to get these eye bands here on either these the bottom left and right pins or the bottom or the top left and right pins. And I'm gonna go ahead and do put mine down here on the bottom. So what you do is you go into with your hook into your loom in the center of your loom. And you either face the actual hook part of your hook, so either face it towards the left because you're going to get the left eye, or towards the right because you're going to get the right eye. But I'll show you how to do the left eye first. So you go into the very center of your loom, in between both the eyes. You go in and grab whichever eye you're going to do this for first. And I'm doing the left. And you need to use your hook to grab the left eye, or whichever eye. And make sure you only have those bands that are for that eye. And once you do, you're going to keep your hook kind of facing out towards either the left or the right. And just bring that cat band over to the pin, which is on the same side as the eye. So I grabbed the left eye, so I'm going to bring it down here to the left pin. Then you'll do the same thing for the other eye. Put your hook back in the same place. Grab the other eye here, make sure you only have that eye, and then bring it down like that. And there you go. Now, just like before, you'll get your connector band and place it first here on these, either the three bottom pins, if that's where you brought both of your eyes, or the three top pins, if that's where you put both of your eyes, wherever you did, that's where your connector band goes. And then what you'll do is you'll just use your hook to loop those eye bands back up and over again push the bands down and then we're gonna go ahead and place our eye band or our ghost bands the same way we did or we have been actually and then we're gonna loom all the bands just like normal Right, so as you can see, the little ghost is forming down here. It's already almost finished. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add one last 
layer or row of ghost bands. So you should have five ghost bands left right now. And we're going to use three of them for this next row. So your connector band, your three ghost bands, and we're just going to place a normal row of bands. So first the connector band and then the three ghost bands. And then looming is just the same as always. First the connector band, and then all six, or well, all the bottom bands on all six pins. All right. Now we only have two ghost bands left. So go ahead and get those. And then also, we're going to switch over to our background bands again. So go ahead and get three of those. And then get your connector band. Alright. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and place our connector band first. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We're not going to place a connector band. Nope. Alright, well that almost was a mistake. Okay, so we're not going to place a connector band this time. What we're going to do is we're going to place all three of our, our background bands first. Alright, and then we're going to place our two ghost bands on either side of our loom. So basically what I mean is you put one ghost band here on these two left pins, and the other band going across these two right pins. And then what we'll do is we'll get our hook, and we'll loom the bottom band on these four pins here on the left and right side. So we'll completely ignore the middle. Just loom the bottom rubber bands on the left and right side. And then don't forget back here as well. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead oh, nope, wait. Don't want to mess up anything. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and loom the middle. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and loom the bottom middle band. Sorry about that. And then we're going to do something a little special here. So these top bands here, which should be ghost bands, here on the left and right side, we're going to move the bands into the middle. So... Here's how we're going to do this. So the bottom, so the bands here at the bottom are going to stay at the bottom, and the ones here at the top will stay at the top. So you'll use your hook and you'll grab this top ghost band here and bring it over, which is on the bottom pin, and bring it over to this bottom middle pin. And then over here, same thing, the top band there, which should be a ghost band, you'll bring it over to this other bottom pin, because that's where this band came from, this bottom pin here. And then up here on top, this ghost band here from the top is going to go over here to the middle pin on top. And this other band that's also at the top of your loom is going to be moved to the top middle pin. And there we go. Alright. So now I have it right. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to add another row and it's going to be just like a normal little row of bands. So you'll get a connector band and since we well, since we've switched over to the background bands, we'll go ahead and get our three background bands. We'll place our connector band like just like normal and then we'll place our three background bands just like normal. Alright, once you've done that, looming will be 
almost the same. You can go ahead and get the connector band. And what we're going to do is kind of like what we did when we were making the feet. Here in the middle, we're going to pull back these two ghost bands here in the middle. So we're going to completely ignore the top and just pull back these ghost bands here in the middle. Then grab that bottom band and loom it up and over. And then the other two pins are just normal. And then on the other side, you'll do the same thing. Pull back those two ghost bands only. Grab the bottom band and loop it up and over. And the other two pins are just the same, as always. Then, just like what we did for the feet, we'll need to take these ghost bands here off of our loom. So just like before, you'll just have to do this for both sides of this one pin or this middle part here but you'll just do one pin at a time you can just take the band move it out the way pull those ghost bands off bring that band back same for the other side alright there we go and now basically what we're going to do is we're just going to continue adding normal little rows of bands for our triple single until we make our bracelet long enough so that it will fit around our wrist. So, if you, well down in the description I'll have an equation that you can use to figure out exactly how many background bands you need to finish because down in the description it tells you how many bands are in an inch of a triple single and then also how many are in a centimeter and then also how long the creation should be once you get to this point here so yeah so in the description we'll have it has that information so if you want to go down there and get the bands, the exact bands you'll need now, then go ahead, use the pause button and get the bands you need. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you make a normal, a normal row for a triple single one more time, and then I'll show you how to close the design off, and you'll just repeat that until you make a, your bracelet long enough. So, here's how you add a normal row to your bracelet. You need a connector band and three background bands. First, you take your connector band, you stretch it across either the top three pins or the bottom three pins. Then, you take your three background bands, you place them just going straight up and down here on the two left pins, the two middle pins, and the two right pins. And it's starting to get dark, so let me just turn on a light real quick. Alright, hopefully that doesn't ruin the quality or anything. Anyway, once you have that, you're going to use your hook and loom the bands. And first you get that connector band, pull it up and over the pins, onto the bands above it, and then you loom all the bottom bands on all six pins. And just like I said before, whenever you finish, make sure you only have one rubber band on each pin except for these two here on the outside because we're not using them and that's how you know you loomed all your bottom bands and that's basically what you'll repeat until you make your triple single ghost bracelet long enough all right so now i'm going to go ahead and show you how you close the design off and make it into a bracelet so you will want to have your clip nearby and yeah so close the bracelet off you're going to need to add another row of bands but this time you're not going to have a connector band you're just going to have three background bands and you'll just place them going across the loom just like all the other background bands you've been placing oh and of course use the pause button if you haven't finished yet but anyway once you place those three bands there 
you'll loom all the bottom bands. There just won't be a connector band this time. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to bring all these bands here that are on our loom right now so that they are all on two pins. So, kind of like what we did with the ghost bands, the last two ghost bands we added to our bracelet, we're going to pretty much do that with these background bands. We're going to bring all these bottom bands to one bottom pin, which I'll be bringing mine to the middle, and all these bands here on the top pins to one top pin, which will be the middle pin here. So, you just use your hook to bring the bands over. Let's take them off the pin, bring them over to the pin you want, and then make sure you do the same thing here on the top. And there we go. Then, we're going to go ahead and get our last rubber band that we need for our bracelet. So you should only have one background band left, and you just place it across the two pins that you have chosen, and that have the bands all underneath it. And then we'll use our hook to loom those bottom bands up and over onto this new band. And what I do is I take one or two layers at a time, instead of all three, because if you take all three of them at the same time, it kind of pushes this one band that you placed up a little bit and it might pull that band off of your loom and well you don't want that to happen because that would really stink so you have to go and fix all that craziness so one or two at a time and whenever you get the whole thing finished here you're going to take this one band that's here on your loom that is stretched across two pins and put it on one pin so you'll pretty much what you did when you were when you were taking the feet bands off your loom when you had to take that top band off and move it over to another pin that's pretty much what you're doing here except you're bringing one side of this band taking it off that pin and bringing it to the other side of the rubber band on the other pin like so. So now only one pin on my loom has a bands on it and then once you have this you'll get your clip and you'll attach it to the band or the bands here on this one pin. There you go. Then once the clip is attached, you can take the band off your loom, and you don't really need your loom anymore, and you also don't really need your hook anymore. And then what you're going to do is use your clip, find the cap band here on the other end of your bracelet, the first band we had placed, and you'll attach your clip to that band, so that cap band there, and then you have your bracelet. So, now it's time for the outro. So, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make the triple single pets ghost bracelet successfully. Hopefully now you have one and you're wearing it. I think it's pretty, pretty spooky. I don't know. <laughs> and, yeah, that's actually pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial. Other than, thanks for watching. And, bye!